When you consider the news we've been covering and the time of year, this next segment couldn't be more timely. It's about the growing medical evidence of the power of prayer to heal body and soul. We get our report tonight from NBC's Cynthia McFadden. It's not shocking that a Catholic priest believes in the power of prayer, but it is a bit of a surprise that Father John Murray says he can prove it. Do you think you're a miracle? Yes, well, without a doubt. Four years ago, Father Murray broke his neck in a fall. I was paralyzed from my chest down. Doctors told him he'd never walk again. You should expect no voluntary movement. That's a quote. But his doctors were wrong. I think it's a result of prayer, yes, without a doubt. Other people's prayers and my prayers, without a doubt. You're getting stronger, huh? <laughs> You're That's fooling so. me. Let's hope so. His doctors may be stunned, but half of all Americans believe prayer can heal. So why is it almost non-existent in the doctor's office? Doctors are still, still reluctant. They've been pretty much trained to keep these areas separate. Dr. Harold Koning used to be one of them, but now he says after reviewing hundreds of studies, he's changed his mind. The more religious, the greater the well-being. Koning is now leading the charge from within the medical establishment to get doctors to recognize prayer's power. Armed with research like his own at Duke that says those who pray daily are 40 percent less likely to have high blood pressure. Studies by others have claimed prayer can reduce depression and anxiety. We think that the research shows and will show that people whose faith is supported by their medical team they're just going to do better. I don't think physicians should cross that line. They should allow patients to practice religion as they see fit, but they shouldn't engage in religious practices with them. Dr. Richard Sloan, the author of Blind Faith, argues religion and medicine should be kept separate. I think many of us have had the experience of knowing someone or having a loved one who was a believer and who believed that prayer would help. And in fact, they seem to get better. Is that just a coincidence? Some people will report that they get better, but you don't hear the stories about people who prayed to, for healing and don't get better. You only hear the stories about those who do get better. Which brings us back to Father Murray, who says his faith, just like his walking, is stronger than ever. I'm certainly better off than most paraplegics. Cynthia McFadden, NBC News, Brooklyn.